Hey, what's up? Leroy from School of Synthesis here and tutor of the Beats with Machine class. Uh, and in my last video, we took a look at how to quickly lay down some ideas and create a house groove. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna take a little closer look at drum programming using machine step sequencer and how to get a really nice groove. Now, as a music producer, I make house music that has a real nod to the classic garage house and two-step from the UK, whilst also drawing influences from Jackin Chicago and Detroit house and techno. I suppose the keyword here is Jackin, which is a, a term used to describe how people used to dance to this kind of music back in the day, uh, but has since become um, a whole genre of house music entirely. Now it doesn't really matter what sort of music you're making, these techniques will certainly help elevate any kind of drum groove that you're trying to achieve. Alright, let's get into it. Firstly, I'm going to start with a group of drum sounds that I've sourced from the Paradise Rinse expansion pack from Native Instruments. They sound real nice, it's exactly what I'm after. Next, let's create a pattern and start with a one bar loop. When starting your drum patterns, it's always best to start with short loops because you can always double and duplicate the lengths to add variation later. Now, let's start with a kick drum. Hit the step button, press play. Notice the colored pad that moves, that's your playhead. It's cycling through the pattern. Now with house music, we want to lay down a kick on the 1, 5, 9, and 13th step, giving you that simple 4 to the floor classic house pattern. However, before we move on, let's throw a kick down on the 16th step and drop the velocity of this note right down to say something like 40, which really gives it that little shuffle. Next, select your clap or your snare and bang it on the 5 and the 13. These are the upbeats. Uh, and then move on to your open hi-hat. Knock these down on the 3, 7, 11 and 15 steps. These are the half steps. Cool, starting to sound a little bit like house now, right? Now at this stage, we have all the elements that provide the foundation of our beat. Now we need to experiment with you know, the percussive elements to really give this beat some groove and shuffle so we can kind of get that jacking sound. Let's start with the closed hi-hats. These are vital for achieving the groove that we want. Uh, with the percussive elements, uh, be aware that leaving space around the kick and snare and open hi-hat. Awesome, now let's grab another closed hat and let's lay these down on every 16th step. Alright, sick, so a lot more is going on at the moment and we've got a beat that I actually want to dance to. So you can see um, there's quite a lot of varying degrees of velocity levels for these um, closed hi-hats going on here. And that's because um, depending on how hard you enter in the step will determine that step's velocity level. Now this is a really cool feature because we don't want every single note to be the same velocity level because that gives you a really static and grooveless beat. However, we do want to bring these velocity levels up to a more of a consistent range. What we can do is we can use the variation button here and we can get machine to randomize um, the velocity levels um, of this between two different values. So say we'll go a low of around 85 and um, a high of around say 100. So now you can see there's a little bit more consistency amongst the um, velocity levels of this, but it's still random and it's still a bit varied. Also be mindful of throwing down some rim shots uh, on the off beats to really help push that groove along. Now, let's talk about swing. Swing is a really important feature when it comes to drum programming. Without getting too technical, it basically makes your drums sound less stiff and gives them more groove. On machine, you can swing an entire pattern or you can swing individual notes independent of the master swing. Let's start with these open and close hats. Select the swing button, hold the pad you wanna swing, and then turn the encoder. I found about 25% is sort of the magic number. Let's do the same for some other elements.
Right. Now, lastly, let's duplicate this pattern. So we'll create a, a complete copy of it. And let's add some rides over the top of our open hi-hats. All right, so let's move over to Ableton Live for all you uh, heads out there making beats in Ableton. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I've got Machine Load as a plug in here, so we can actually take a listen to how it sounds. This is a pattern I just made a Machina. Sounds pretty sweet. Let's just get rid of that, turn this off, and now let's have a listen to the exact same pattern I made using the exact same samples. Um, but I put into a drum rack here and created a clip. Now this is basically what the clip looks like. If you guys want to take a screenshot of that uh, and basically copy it, go ahead. And this is what it sounds like. Nice. Now you'll probably notice that in comparison to this guy, the Ableton one, or the drum rack one, is sounding a little sort of not quite right it doesn't have as much groove and as much swing and that's because we need to go over here and apply some uh, groove templates uh, to our clip now if you guys aren't using um, groove templates from the groove pool I highly recommend you get around it because they're pretty amazing you can left click here browse library and you can see I've already got the MPC category open because they're kind of the ones I like the most in my old you know MPC head myself I really enjoyed using those and they always had these really great kind of like natural swing about them and that's kind of what it sounds like so let's just drag this in here go to our clip in the uh, clip chooser we can go to the groove and select uh, the swing we want increase some of the quantize I think about 15 was kind of the gold number in Ableton Okay, so you can see it's starting to sound a little bit groovier from that swing, but it still isn't quite as groovy as the one um, in Machina. And that's because you might recall in Machine we were able to actually able to um, swing individual elements uh, independent of the uh, master swing, uh, and to do that in Ableton you've got to do a little bit of trickery. So let's find the sounds we want because we can't just individually swing these because they're enclosed or enhoused in this drum rack which is being swung kind of globally so let's just find the sounds we want to swing so let's go these open hi-hats very important just grab it and drag it into your um, session and what it does is it takes it and puts it on its entirely new uh, drum rack it takes all the MIDI information as well and puts it on its own individual channel So now we can just go ahead and swing this clip individually as well. So let's choose a different um, swing template. Let's go with 54, drag this in here, increase some of the quantize, go to the chooser, select 54. Cool, now back to our main drum boot. Let's go to um, open hat, swing this in there, double click, and again, Let's get a different groove pull. Whoops. Uh, let's try 55. A little bit of experimentation. Increase some of the quantize. Uh, oops, just got to select that. Yeah, it's starting to sound much better. Now you could just go ahead and do that with the rest of um, your elements that are in your drum rack. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it with the rim shots. Also very important. Uh, I'm just going to assign another one. Go to the chooser, select another group pool. And this is a really great way of coming up with some really interesting um, drum patterns. Now once you're happy with what you've got, I would select all of those um, tracks, uh, Command G, uh, and group them together, and then there you go, they use your drums, Command R, rename them, and boom.
All right, so there you have it. So hopefully through this you can see the relationship between using the step sequencer, velocity levels, and swing will really help enhance you know um, the, your drum patterns. Uh, and don't forget that you know it doesn't really matter what genre of music you're making or what style of beat. Uh, these methods will certainly still apply to all of those. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Otherwise, stay safe. And we'll see you next time.